of an innocent American journalist and we express our deepest condolences to his family and his friends. We will provide more information when it is available. Well, for more analysis now on the situation, let's turn to CNN U.S. security analyst Bob Baer. He joins us live from Irvine in California. Uh, Bob, thanks so much for joining us. One of the messages that accompanied this horrific video uh, from ISIS is a message to the U.S. to end its intervention in Iraq. What sort of effect, if anything, is this video, is this big heading going to have on U.S. policy? I expect none at all. Uh, this administration is determined to uh, fight ISIS in Iraq. Um, it's made a decision that it cannot let an Islamic state be founded there. It's going to cooperate with the Kurds. It's going to cooperate with the central government. It's even cooperating with Iran on a certain level. Uh, I don't think the White House is going to pull back on this, even though there probably will be more executions, as, as promised by ISIS. Um, I think this was all foreseen when we started you know, hitting targets in Iraq, around Mosul and on the dam. Uh, the government knew that ISIS would hit back where it could, and the first place, the easiest place, was of course Syria. Uh, we may expect something in Iraq, in Baghdad, against the embassy or the consulate in Erbil. And the big question is, does ISIS have the ability to project attacks um, in other places in Europe or Africa or even the United States? Just before we get to that point, um, on, as far as the, the reaction in the U.S., could it be the opposite in that uh, this action by ISIS actually draws the U.S. in deeper than it was perhaps uh, initially prepared to go? Oh, exactly. I think you're absolutely right. I think the United States, this, this, this group has put itself beyond the pale, and I think Americans are going to be more determined to bring more force against it. So I, I think what we can count on is this conflict getting actually worse rather than better. Okay, you, you spoke about uh, the, the real fear is how far ISIS can project uh, itself around the world, particularly in the U.S. What is your take on that at this stage? Well, sources in Washington tell me that ISIS is here. We've, we've even seen indications of this, of an, of an attempt in Florida. Um, but they, they tell me ISIS, American passport holders, Americans who've got combat experience in Syria and Iraq are coming home. I've heard from Iraqis that there are hundreds of Americans in Iraq fighting with ISIS. I doubt it's that high. But the point is it only will take one or two to get through uh, to make an attack uh, that will, will cause major panic in Washington, but you know, the FBI and Homeland Security are doing absolutely the best they can to monitor this, but it's so easy to sneak into Syria or even Iraq by walking across the Turkish border that it, it's, it's impossible to, to get a grip on it completely. Well, given what happened in 2000